Hi, I've called this through the looking glass and my spirit team are just, and then the angels are just saying, you know, um, there's an area of your life, it's almost when you get a magnifying glass and you put it up, or something that you really know you look, it's the fine details of, and this might be the fine details of how uh, you run a membership, how you're writing a book, um, it could be your finances, it could be details of your life, there's, is there something that you'd want to sort out in your life, and you're missing the, you're missing the details, it's they're getting like a, 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 a magnifying glass, and they're getting you to saying look through, looking through the glass, but thoroughly looking through the glass, not just like, um, it's like paying attention to this, the details, really to the tiny details, because there's something that you're missing here, something really important that you're missing, and they're just really saying, home oh, in it. It's like Alice in Alice in the Alice in Wonderland looking through the looking through the porthole. Um, and it's 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 maybe about your connection to your your loved ones and your angels. It's about that deepening this connection. It's because as I said before, that the veil's so thin, it's like the really thin curtains I've got up my windows. It's just really the your departed loved ones are there. You can almost touch them and feel them and smell them and um, they're hugging you, they're coming so close to you, and it's just really um, to to really look look into something deeper. This is a deeper, there's a deeper understanding, there's a deeper meaning, and maybe you're looking into your family tree. I've got several in my family tree, so all my grandparents, but I've never had time to actually sit. I've had a wee glance at them, but I've never had time to actually get through them in fine detail. It'd be something that'd be really interesting. Um, to sit and do, um, but this is just, uh, they want you to home right in in something, and you will know each for each one of us it'll be different, maybe a similar theme for each one of us it'll be different because this is for the group, um, but just see if it comes to mind, and the first thing that comes to mind it'll be that, and this is letting go, this is from the Angels of Abundance to Radley Valentine, and this guardian, this is your guardian angel, and she's bringing forward um, some words of wisdom for you. Um, she's bringing forward a lot, some some knowledge um, that you need to know, you need to be aware of. Um, and it's linked to this, um, this what I was speaking about to look at something in great detail. So I feel this is to do with paperwork in some form or another. It's called letting go. Releasing the past can seem like a bit of a challenge, but can also be liberating. Your angels will help you let go so that you can fly higher than ever before. Endings always herald a new beginning. Choose to allow this situation to leave you to a more jo joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts. So the angels are just saying, you know, um, it's time to move on with a certain, a certain way of life. Um, a certain way of a certain way of maybe have to put up or shut up with things. It, that's all ended now. That's it's it's that's the end of that. But I feel that's the end of the two year cycle that we've been going through. It's no longer. It's your time to be heard and seen, um, and to be out there to to um, spread the light, and spread the word. Um, and whatever words that comes forward for you, <laughs> if you're like me, I never know what's coming next because they always just give me a, a new thing to talk about, to chat about. And it's only short, but it's just to let you get a little bit of insight and just maybe help you through these times heading towards the brighter light. Thank you very much. Bye bye.